Jackson for taking time to talk to the city of Durham today and to us. Do you mind uh, just giving an introduction of yourself? Yeah, um, of course, my name is Dr. Timothy Jackson. I am the uh, UBC Underutilized Business Compliance Manager here for the city of Durham. Um, at the city of Durham, I administer two programs our Equal Business Opportunity Program, uh, which is better known as MWBE across uh, the state of North Carolina, and also our Small Local Business Enterprise uh, Program. So I've also worked at the City of Greensboro. I was an MWBE coordinator there, administered one program, which was the MWBE program there, where we brought in a lot of minority participations. And so I've uh, been in state government uh, for 21 years. Uh, so it's been a, definitely an experience, um, and I look forward to definitely bringing my expertise and serving here at the city of Durham. Awesome. Thank you very much. We are interviewing you as an employee spotlight and wanted to get a little bit of your background so far as how long you've been in the role that you are in and in general what's under your preview but if there's anything else i guess that you were charged with with starting the role yeah so i've been in the current role uh, as ubc compliance manager here at the city of durham for six months now um, and of course uh, what i've done since i've been here is definitely learn uh, the city ordinance uh, which is our equal business opportunity ordinance and also trying to align that ordinance with North Carolina general statutes. Um, so we've done a great job. I'm happy that uh, finance now houses both the Equal Business Opportunity Program and the Small Local Business Program. So we're able to get some good financial support and structure uh, for both programs. Awesome. Was there anything in particular that attracted you to the city of Durham and to this actual position? Yeah, uh, innovation and technology uh, definitely attracted me to the city of Durham. And then just where Durham is located, um, we're in the triangle. Uh, you have RTP up the road, uh, we've got Chapel Hill, we have NC State, uh, you've got the airport. Uh, so it's in really what I consider prime real estate area for the state of North Carolina. And it's just continuously growing. I mean, this area, I think in the next five years is, is probably gonna be a larger city than what it is now. So all that opportunity definitely attracted me uh, to the city of Durham. Awesome. So I know you mentioned that you came from the city of Greensboro and you've been in state government for 21 years. Do you want to give us a little bit more about your credentials? Yeah, definitely. I'll start with my master's degree. I was really proud of that degree. Um, I have a master of science degree uh, in conflict resolution. And so I'm able to use uh, my mediation skills uh, specifically in government contracting when it's time to negotiate for contracts or negotiate with rules and regulation. I really rely heavily on that. Um, also, uh, my doctorate degree, I went to Abilene Christian University, received my doctorate of organizational leadership, and again, have a concentration as well, conflict management. And that degree helps me every day here at the city of Durham because I have a deep understanding of organizational structure and how strategic planning operates specifically in supporting um, minority and women businesses here in the city of Durham. Awesome. So um, <clears throat> I guess one of the um, overarching questions we wanted to make sure we asked was your vision for the EBOP program. If you want to explain what the EBOP program entails and kind of how your role fits in and your vision. Yeah, so starting with the EBOP program, of course, most supplier diversity programs have to be validated through what we call disparity studies. Um, so, of course, in the city of Durham, the last disparity study was 2014, uh, but it's in the, the making that we're going to have a more updated disparity study, uh, hopefully in the next few months to weeks or so. Um, once we have that disparity study, how that helps minorities is going to identify opportunities in contracting that the city can target 
to better help uh, women and minority businesses. Uh, my goal specifically uh, for the city of Durham is that city of Durham becomes a number one supplier diversity information center in the state of North Carolina. Um, I know previously years uh, before Durham was recognized as one of the top uh, places for supplier diversity. I want to see Durham pick that back up um, and, and that's specifically my vision. Um, also, my vision for the small local business enterprise is that we can really leverage and boost local businesses right here in downtown. Um, I think that the businesses downtown, um, they need help. Uh, they need more support. Um, and, I, and I definitely would love to see more outside uh, you know, vendors come and set up shop um, for small local business. So I'll be working with all those companies trying to see how the, uh, the city can help out. Is there anything in particular that you would say was a huge accomplishment? I understand you've only been here for six months, but is there anything you want to like to call out? Yeah, uh, one of the hugest accomplishments when I came, uh, my deputy CFO, and I have to give her recognition, um, Sheila Fawcett, she gave me a monumental task. Uh, and that was, I need, she needed for me to recode and classify all of the current vendors in our system that should have been coded as M or W uh, BEs. Um, her thinking was that if we can just classify what we have in the system, we can get our reporting accurate and I believe we should see results uh, that way. So we were able to do that. I was able to do that, classify vendors in the system and then I also started teaching project managers around the city how to incentivize for participation. And so as of our last uh, steering committee meeting, uh, we exceeded goals in, in just about every category. Uh, there were some areas that we do still have opportunities uh, for improvement, uh, but every category that we hit the goal, it was in double digits, which uh, North Carolina only requires 10%. And so we definitely had over 10% uh, where we hit those targets. Awesome. So when you think about things that you're looking forward to over the next, you know, six months, year, I guess when, as you're planning your, your immediate future, what comes to mind? Well, what I would love to do, um, I like uh, merging departments as far as uh, we have our Office of uh, Workforce Economics, uh, OWED and uh, they do a lot of business development. Um, they receive a lot of grant funding to specifically help small businesses. So eventually, we've actually partnered with them. And so we'll be uh, utilizing some of those strategic uh, goals and grants to kind of leverage together and let's help. Uh, let's develop some programming classes. How do we boost capacity for small businesses and women? So I'm definitely looking forward to do that. Also, uh, I've made partnerships now for the city with uh, the Women's Business Center, uh, which is also has a satellite office here in Durham, as well as North Carolina DOT uh, Technology Center, uh, which has a satellite office here in Durham. So looking to work with all of those partners to, to build uh, small business capacity. Awesome. When you're um, thinking about this um, spotlight video going out. Is there anything that we didn't talk about that you want to kind of highlight about yourself, your future, your role, your career? Yeah, I would say uh, for me personally, uh, my team is very, very important to me. Um, I cannot do anything if it wasn't for I uh, have uh, Sydney Anderson, who is my business administrator, and Nathan Rivers. He's my uh, business service analyst. Without those two guys, um, we, we wouldn't have the results. Uh, they're hard workers, they're on the front line all the time. Uh, they, they, they give me the reason I wanna come to work every day. And then again, like I say, my DCFO, Sheila, whew, she's a great leader, a good leader, great leader. Awesome team. All right, well, thank you very much for your time.